So today we're going to be shooting some Adler stuff. What we're going to do is we've got three different chokes. We've got cylinder bore improved and modified, or modified and improved, whichever fucking way that goes around. So Jeff here, come on Jeff. Hey. Jeff is going to be our shooter for today. Uh, what we're going to do is we've got some targets down range and we're going to shoot each target with each different type of uh, cylinder. But then we're also going to put through three different types of rounds. So we've got buckshot, we've got BBs, and we've got seven and a half um, club loads. So that's obviously going to give you a different spread because of different ammunition nature, but then the three different chokes is going to give you a different effect downrange on your target. We'll be shooting the target for about 10, uh, 10 metres, and um, we'll see what happens. So let's get into it. Ah, don't hit my hand. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is the straight through um, with a 7.5 club load at 10 metres. All right, so that's our spread. It's obviously a pretty fucking big spread there. Yeah. Obviously, you can see where the chokes, uh, sorry, the, choke, the fucking wads gone through there. But we're from edge to edge, essentially, from there. Not so much there. Yeah, yeah, I was probably a little bit low left, yeah. I'd say, with that one. So it's pretty much spread. What's that wide? Probably two foot. Yep. Cool. All right, we'll shoot the same distance, same choke with a BB now. Get me, dog. Alright, so this one is our BB shot. Oh yeah. So gone hard to see the black thing, so wad. And then so all our BBs. So once again almost the width. Yeah. Um but it's a pretty big spread, really. Mm. This one's gonna be our buck shot. This should be pretty interesting. A bit stiff. Yeah. Wad down here. But nine pellets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Cool. So it's actually not too bad of a spread. Yep. At ten. But that should It'll tighten up. Your day up. Oh yeah. Alright, so change the choke over to the middle choke of the three that you get in the kit. Um, so now we're gonna fire the same three rounds again. So the first one's gonna be seven and a halfs, and then we'll go to BB and then we'll go to buck. Take it away, Jeff. All right. All right, so you can definitely see that Choke's done something. Yeah. Look at that. That's pretty tight. But 10, so that's big about, difference. Get the size of my hand. So that's pretty good. Mm. Let's get a bit more central here. Ah, <laughs> so still a bit of spread on the BBs, but it's definitely closed it up a bit. Mm. Should have bought something that's not black targets, that's really hard to see. On camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not bad yeah. at all. This is, a this is the buckshot. Buck shot. Fuck yeah. That was a bit high. So if we mm. hold that up. One, two, three, Not four, five, six, seven, eight. We're missing one. Oh no, there's two there. Alrighty. Buck shoot's pretty loose. Yeah, they do that. <laughs> so, number two. Bingo bango. Alright, so we're a full choke now. And uh, we're all gonna see what this happens. What this happens. We're gonna see what this happens. <laughs> I don't know, what's gonna happen? So tight it's got a proper hole in it. Yeah, that'll, that'll fucking really get you, wouldn't it? Well, considering the last one was almost twice the width of yeah. that as well. Yep. Mm. 
Oh. <laughs> 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 that was a terrible butt in my shoulder. Okay. Oh no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. That's probably just like a, a rick or splinter. something. Yeah. yeah. That's probably where the wad touched it, maybe. Yeah. But that's actually not made much of a difference. No. Have a geese. Well, let's uh, line them all up and have a gander. All right, so we've got all our targets laid out. Now in this line here, we've got all of the seven and a halfs, then all the BBs, and then all the buckshot. So let's just go through quickly, have a look at the um, the spread patterns and see what they've what the chokes have actually achieved. So the first one here, I'll we'll just hold that yep. first one up for us, so we can see it. All right, so that first one here, obviously big ass spread. That's about you know, a two foot spread at two, uh, tw uh, fuck me, two foot spread at 10 meters. So that's pretty fucking big. If we go down to the second choke, all right, it gives us a little bit over a hand size. We've got a couple of flies down here. And then once we go to the full choke, you can definitely see it's pretty much almost the same, but you do have a more concentration in here. So you can see this is more shot out in the center than this. So you are getting um, a bit of a smaller spread, but obviously this one at longer ranges is gonna to continue to be a smaller spread pattern than that one. Especially compared to that shit. Yeah, especially compared to that fucking bullshit. All right, then we've got our um, BBs. So without a choke, so straight through, obviously that's a big ass fucking spread. And then we compare that to the second choke which is obviously look at the, the, the size difference there and there and also the shot pattern is more concentrated in the center there as well. And then we go back out to, yeah, look how small that spread pattern is. So that's probably just over the size of my hand compared to even that, which is probably twice the size of my hand. So that's a pretty good difference there. And then lucky last, we've got our buckshot now these haven't really made much of a difference um, at longer ranges over 10 meters it probably does make more of a difference but if we have a look at these from left to right so that's probably uh, just over a hand size maybe there to there's probably about eight inches this one here just under hand size and then this one here is pretty much the same size if you disregard that one though that might be a flyer you've got you know, half a hand size. So not a great deal of difference with the buckshot, but once again, once you shoot at longer ranges, like up to 20 and 25 meters, it might open up a bit more. So there you go. That's the uh, shot patterns. Thank you to Jeffrey for uh, being our shooter for today. I like shooting. Shooting is fun. So there you go. That's what the shot patterns do. So obviously that's 10 meters. Um, I haven't got enough rounds and or money to do more testing out further, but that could be a second video. So if you do want to see what the Adler Chokes will do at longer ranges, leave it in the comments below, hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. Hooray.